Now, uh, Real Madrid have won five of their last nine Champions League titles. That's amazing. Ah. That is amazing. Um, they knocked out City 6-5 in aggregate last season as well after three injury time goals. So let's get a bit more on how we think tonight is going to go and how these teams are different to last season. Uh, Paul Dickoff is on the line, former Man City Scotland striker. Hello, Paul. You're morning, right? Paul. Great to have you on this morning. Alex. Good morning, Laura. Hello. Laura, you're not going to call me names this morning, are you? <laughs> after the last time. I promise, I promise I won't. <laughs> well, I can't promise because sometimes I can't control it. It just falls out my mouth by accident. Hello, though. Paul, it's lovely to have you on. Um, what do you think? Uh, that question there that I was mentioning a second ago, how are they different? Are they stronger, weaker, in what ways? Uh, well, Real Madrid are strong regardless, um, especially in the Champions League. You know, I think the start of every single season, if you say Real Madrid's priority to, to, was to win the Liga, they would say no. You know, it's, it's the Champions League first and foremost for them. But I look at this Manchester City team and squad, and, and I know I'm biased, but um, I think this is as strong a squad that Pep Guardiola has had um, since he's been there. Um, everybody's fit. I know Nathan Ake get injured at the weekend, um, but you know they're just they went to this game tonight. Laura, after one in ten games in a row, which the, the form they're in is ridiculous. Um, and as I say, to have a fully fit squad, and I know Pep saying they won't be thinking of revenge of last season, but that'll be at the back of the players' nine, minds because that was devastating. You know, over the two legs last year, the game at the Etihad and then at the Bernabeu. You know, I was lucky to be at both Manchester City dominated Real Madrid, and then you know a couple of mistakes in the first game at the Etihad, and then. Just a mad couple of minutes at the very end, um, to cost them concentration-wise, and I think the players will be going into that tonight thinking, you know what, we were better than them last year. We're stronger now. We're going into this in better form. There's no reason why we can't win this, win the game over the two legs. I agree with everything you said there, Paul. However, I, I, I look at that Real Madrid side. I, I, I watched their highlights against those as soon at the weekend. They won the cup at the weekend. Vinicius Junior looked lively. Rodrigo got the two goals. Interestingly enough, Modric didn't start. Do you think you know he was on? He was he was on the bench. He's obviously been a big player, and a fantastic player for him. But see, last season, Paul, I honestly believe that might be the best European Cup stroke Champions League that Real Madrid have ever won because of the manner they won it. But but how important is it now that this momentum that Manchester City have got going into this fixture tonight? I think it's massive, Ali, and I think you're, you're right. Modric is going to be massive. You know, I know he picked up an injury a couple of weeks ago, so there was a couple of doubts whether he was going to be fit for tonight. But then coming off the bench at the weekend, um, we'll say that you're going to bend. you've got Tony Cruz in there, and as you said, you yep. know, Rodrigo, Vinicius Jr., um, and then the man Benzema up front. So they're a top, top team. Um, but I just look at the Manchester City team, um, and I, I touched on it the last time I was on, how, how solid they are defensively now. You know, um, Manuel Akanji has come in, I think, £15 million. He's been absolutely sensational. John Stones is playing as well as he ever has been. You know, whether it's well, centre-half or right-back or <laughs> but in midfield. He's, he's like Beckenbauer. <laughs> it's the amazing. He's playing. amazing. Um, but, uh, but Vinicius Jr. is the one, and I think I think Kyle Walker might get the nod tonight, Ali, mm, yeah. um, purely because of his pace, pace. and his experience. And yeah. Um, but it's going to be great, but you're talking about the great players they've got. You know, Kevin De Bruyne is hitting for them at the right time. Uh, Jack Grealish has been absolutely brilliant. And I don't know if you remember the game that they burned about. As much as City lost it last year, Jack Jack came on about half an hour to go and gave Carvajal an absolute torrid time. Yep. Um, and he's in much better form now as well. Mm. And then we've not even mentioned that man, Haaland, yet. You know, cool. um, I know it's different season and different games, but if Erling Haaland's playing in that City team last year, he gets a hat-trick in the first half of the first mm. game with the chances they created. So it's, it's, it's just going to be a sensational game. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm buzzing for it. Yeah. Um, at the Bernabeu tonight and then back at the Etihad. So, um, I think Loris said before that it's the semi-final, but I don't think any of the anybody would grumble if it was the final because no. it's probably the two best teams in the competition going head to head um, so they're also Manchester City at the top of the table and if you cast your eye down to the bottom of the table um, one of your former teams Leicester bang in trouble at the moment and a display yesterday which really frustrated a lot of their fans um, Paul do you think they can get themselves out of it? I hope so you know it's, it's a fantastic club you know did four great years there over two different spells and I know Dean Smith, Craig Shakespeare, really well. Um, you know, top guys, top coach, top manager. But looking at that performance yesterday, defensively, um, that was really poor. Um, you know, I think Ali was bang on before, saying they look stale. Mm -hmm. You know, and I think the players, are, that group of players, have been together a long time. Um, the recruitment over the last couple of years, I don't think you can look at Brendan or even look at Dean in the short space of time that he's been there. The recruitment has been non-existent. You know, you lose 
one of the best goalkeepers in the Premier League in Casper Spiegel. You don't bring anybody in. You lose Fafana, who arguably was one of the best young defenders in there. You don't bring him in. Chilwell, mm-hmm. you know, that, that, that's three year back five, the top, top players that are missing. Um, and when Dean came in and they lost to City at the Etihad, which anybody can do, but then they picked up four, four points in the next two games, I thought, you know, they, they can get out of it here. But looking at them yesterday, they look, look devoid of confidence. They look stale, and I really hope they stay up. But, but I worry for them after that. Talk Sport Breakfast with Laura Woods, Monday to Wednesday morning, six till ten, on AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app, and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.